Number 10. Gu Tian. It's a little known fact that some boats are made of concrete. Doesn't make any sense, right? You'd assume concrete would just sink. But if you handle it the right way, you can make it as good a material as the traditional wood or fiberglass. Crazy! One striking example of a concrete vessel is the Gu Tian ship, which used to be sitting on a riverbank at Fuzhou, capital of Fujian province in southeast China. The Gu Tian, at the time the biggest concrete ship on the planet at 3,000 tons, spent four decades at this location. And you've guessed it, the craft was abandoned. Instead of shipmates, the vessel welcomed tourists. It wasn't unheard of for homeless people to sleep on board as well. In 2013, the Gu Tian's time at Fuzhou finally ended. But what do you do with a long abandoned concrete boat? Do you tow it away? Nah, you smash it to pieces and reduce it to rubble. It was being demolished so apartments could be built in its place. Ah, progress, don't you just love it? Speaking of which, the Gu Tian didn't actually make much progress during its time in service. The 1970s saw China's communist government turn to concrete when steel supplies were critically low. It must have looked pretty majestic during its maiden voyage. However, that was the only journey it would ever make. Financially, the Gu Tian was a bit of a solid gold albatross for the Chinese, who deliberately left it there for years. What a shame that it met such a destructive end. Number 9. SSN Akula Class Sub Check out part of an awesome submarine that's sticking out of the ice. Looks like it's been abandoned and the water is simply frozen over the top of it. Those guys standing around for the photo op are Russians, we reckon. And that's where this huge abandoned vehicle appears to hail from. If we're not mistaken, that's an SSN Akula class sub, one of a reported 14 owned by the Russian Navy. The sub was commissioned in the 1980s and 90s, and to give you an idea of what they're capable of, let's explore the later version Akula 2. They have a surface displacement of 12,770 tons. If that sounds a little technical, well, it is. Displacement is calculated by taking the overall weight of the sub and subtracting the amount of what's known as free flood water. Akula 2s have a length of 361 feet, 110 meters, and dive to a depth of 1,969 feet, 600 meters. Firepower-wise, they typically pack a maximum of 12 cruise missiles. We hope that isn't a bunch of frozen missiles those guys are standing on. However the sub wound up in this situation, it's an attention-grabbing spectacle, even if it is designed to hide beneath the waves. Number 8. U.S. Space Shuttle Replica This abandoned vehicle looks super out of context, right? Did a space shuttle crash land on an island in Canada? Doesn't that just sound a teensy bit far-fetched? You'd be right to think so. This isn't a real shuttle at all, but a replica designed for a theme park. The park closed its doors, but the shuttle stayed. The island is situated in the Gulf of St. Lawrence by Nova Scotia. If you think the craft looks familiar, it's because the shuttle is a copy of Columbia, which was caught up in a tragedy back in 2003. Seven people lost their lives when the ship broke apart on coming back to Earth. Prince Edward Island was very lucky to have this awe-inspiring replica on its shores. Not only was it one of only six that were produced, it also could be walked through by visitors, unlike its fellow replicas. See that big word adventure splashed along the side of the shuttle? That's obviously a throwback to Great Island Science Adventure Park, which lasted a couple of decades before closing in 2005. Would you like to see this in person? Have you? Let us know in the comments down below, and if you're liking this video, be sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. Number 7. Sub Graveyard We mentioned the Akula class sub earlier. Well, here's another ocean-going treat for you. This time, we're talking about a sub and a whole lot more lurking beneath the surface. Sounds intriguing, though as you'll discover, it's more dangerous than anything else. Welcome to North Russia and the Kara Sea where the Soviet administration decided it would be a great idea to drop nuclear waste into the drink. Years later, they're facing a major environmental problem. In addition to a nuclear sub that appears to have been tossed away, there are some nuclear reactors. That's right, reactors. These aren't exactly like Coke cans or empty packets of chips which can be easily discarded. What are the Russians doing about this abandoned vehicle and a deadly payload of nuclear waste? Reports from 2021 state that the government will be talking about the issue at a conference in 2022. The area is the most contaminated of its type on the planet, with high concentrations of radioactive material. A shocking statistic is that all the waste in the Kara Sea combined is over an astonishing six times greater than radiation levels at Hiroshima. Let's just pray they manage to get this terrible situation sorted out for marine life and future generations. Number 6. Mystery Boat so what is this fascinating craft that wound up on the shores of Ireland? It reminds us of a floating garden shed, though it is in fact a houseboat. 
and it has an interesting story behind it. You see, this little boat had actually been on an incredible journey across 2,000 miles, 3,219 kilometers. It all started out in Canada. Inventor Rick Small built the boat out of wood and powered it with solar panels. The idea was to draw attention to the issue of climate change. He reached Newfoundland with a plan to go around the Arctic to see the melting ice. However, things didn't work out. Motor issues led him to abandon the vessel, though not before he wrote a message and left it inside. The message revealed not only Rick's name, but his intentions that a young homeless person should take the boat and move abroad. Did anyone take him up on his generous offer? Maybe, maybe not. Either way, the craft drifted across the Atlantic and all the way to the Emerald Isle. It took locals three years to track down Rick Small, finally getting hold of him in 2019. He's just happy the boat went to a good home, we're sure. But where did it eventually go? The answer is Binghamstown in County Mayo. The boat was restored and is now part of a community sensory garden, according to reports. Sounds like a great resting place for this unusual piece of recent seagoing history. Number 5. Mitsubishi A6M Zero Fighter An incredible relic from World War II was discovered by total accident in the waters of Papua New Guinea. What is it? A plane, obviously. But to give you a little more detail, it's an A6M Zero fighter made by Japanese firm Mitsubishi. It was found when local man William Noy spotted the 60-year-old vehicle during one of his dives. Reportedly freaked out, he thought he might have come face to face with something otherworldly. Instead, he stumbled upon a slice of 20th century history. But how exactly did it get down there? A natural assumption is that it could have been shot down during the conflict. However, upon examining the evidence, it looks like the plane was abandoned following a fuel shortage. Max and Cecile Benjamin took up the story, tracing the Zero back to a pilot named Tomiharu Honda. He's believed to have landed the craft and made his own way back to Japan. Apart from some stuff growing on it, the wreck is in good condition. Who knows what Tomiharu Honda would have made of his plane being found all those years later. Number 4. Forest of Cars this next entry is a bonanza of old and rusty vehicles that for some reason or other have been left by former owners in the USA. Pickups, trailers, tractors, and even bulldozers can be found at this intriguing forest location, recently documented on video for petrol heads out there to check out. A wooden house shows that the area was inhabited at some point, and because of the variety of stuff on display, it stands to reason that it wasn't just the one person buying all these vehicles. Part of the fun of this one is its sheer sense of mystery. There's so much to explore and think about. Commentators are keen to point out details such as Chevrolet Corvair and a lot of junk which reflects different time periods. However the vehicles wound up in this forest graveyard, they're providing entertainment for fans of abandoned oddities around the world. Number 3. Bay of Ensenada Another major location for abandoned vehicles is the Bay of Ensenada at the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico. Various people have left ships to rust away in the Bay Harbor, including two Japanese vessels and an old U.S. Navy minesweeper, according to a report from 2007. The most attention-grabbing image, however, is surely this snap of sea lions using an abandoned ship as a sunbed. Talk about cute! Unfortunately, there's a dark side behind this, though. Inevitably, these boats sink, causing a headache for local authorities. Reasons as to why these abandonments happen include financial hardship, especially in the fishing sector. A combination of aging crafts and an inability to make ends meet means the bay welcomes more and more visitors, and naturally some of these visitors sink. The paperwork involved in removing a boat that's causing a problem seems to be very time-consuming and aggravating. Should the boat need to be disposed of, the process can take years. Officials expressed frustration that the abandoned craft were needing so much attention. The more time they spend identifying and removing boats that belong to other people, the less time there is to manage the area, we guess. Still, it makes for a fascinating display of vehicles from different nations, right? Number 2. World War II Motorcycle This amazing-looking bike is down in the watery depths of the city of Sharm el-Sheikh, Egypt. Dating back to World War II, it's since been covered in whatever the sea can throw at it. Kinda looks like something from the Pirates of the Caribbean, if they had motorcycles and stuff, that is. How did it get down there? Well, the bike is British, and the Brits had a sizable presence in the country during wartime. In fact, they were in charge, pretty much, and using it as a base for major operations. Egypt became the setting for such dramatic conflicts as the two battles of El Alamein, so it's certain the bike is a leftover from British forces' time there. The army wasn't exactly well regarded by Egyptians, who were supposed to be living in an independent country. Things flared up, plus Egypt had another deadly situation to come in the shape of the Suez Crisis in the 1950s. Through it all, that motorbike appears to have sat there to rust, 
picking up barnacles, seaweed, and the occasional seahorse. We don't know how it got there or who abandoned it. However, like many of the vehicles on our list, it's an awesome relic from times gone by. Number 1. Classic Car Graveyard In 2012, reports came in of a staggering array of classic rides including a Ford Model T and a Jensen Interceptor. It was like a who's who of the car world located in Staffordshire, England, and all 105 of them were abandoned. Why were they there? They belonged to the former tenant of a mansion who wound up getting evicted after struggling with the rent. On top of that, the absentee automobile enthusiast faced a $150,000 bill to store the impressive lineup of vehicles. It's believed that the renter took a selection of the cars with them when they left. As for the rest, well, what a thing to leave behind. Of course, it was a dream for car lovers, but a problem for the landowner who gave the former owner an ultimatum. He had the option of putting the vehicles up for auction should his ex-tenant prove unresponsive. Experts valued the range of cars as going into the millions. The aim was for the landowner to get his money back, and in that situation, it sounds like he definitely would have. And if the auction did go ahead, it's reassuring that the vehicles must have gone to a good home, right? When an abandoned vehicle is found, there's usually an interesting story behind it. And even if it's a total mystery with little for investigators to go on, the history of the vehicle is there for all to see. They may have been abandoned by their former owners, but in this age of internet and social media, there's always a way of showing them to the world and finding someone else to give them the tender, loving care they need. Thanks for watching. Are there any amazing abandoned vehicles you think we should have included on our list? Let us know in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time for another amazing video right here on American Eye.